Hey streamers, Matt Clark here. Got another stream on review for you. Today we're talking about Grace and Frankie, the new sitcom from Netflix. It was just released over the weekend. It stars Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin in the title roles. And first off, I, I just want to discuss the target demographic for this because I am fascinated by who they are expecting to watch this. Hopefully everybody, I'm sure they want all their subscribers to watch it, but I'm in my late 20s and I was excited about seeing this, but if I was a couple years younger, I don't think I would have the attachment to these actors and actresses that I would uh, at, my, at my current age. I, I feel like I might feel like this show skews too old, like it deserves to be on CBS, <laughs> am I right? Because it, it deals with people in their 70s. So I'm, I'm concerned about that level and then on the complete opposite end of the spectrum people who are in their 70s who are contemporaries of uh, uh, Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda they won't be able to watch the show because I don't know how many people that old that actually have Netflix now Netflix subscriptions are increasing by the day so maybe I'm just wrong about that but I feel like you're missing two key ends of the spectrum and you're limited to what's here in the middle but uh, we'll wait and see how that all works out. Lily and Jane, they're, they're back playing characters that you've probably seen them do before. Jane Fonda's Grace is pretty much her character from Monster-in-Law, a rich, emotionally unavailable woman. And um, Lily Tomlin's Frankie is a free spirit, kind of hippie type that you've seen her do before in Admission, that Tina Fey, Paul Rudd movie from a couple years before. Now rounding out the cast, the main cast, we have Martin Sheen that plays Jane Fonda's husband and Sam Watterson who plays Lily Tomlin's husband and I gotta say Sam Watterson blew me away he's doing a fantastic job very vulnerable and conflicted role for him that I hadn't seen before June Diane Raphael is a series regular on this and I love it when she pops up in things she's a comedic actress usually plays like the best friend or the sister or the co-worker kind of in the same territory here she plays one of Grace's daughters Brooklyn Decker playing the other one and June's character is definitely her mother's daughter very uh, emotionally available rich, privileged, and I gotta say, everybody's kind of waspy in, in, in this show, and which, you know, it benefits us because it is shot uh, very beautifully and the locations are very expensive, everything looks expensive, the clothes look high class, the, the set decoration is nice, and one of the main set pieces is a beach house, so not only do you have you know that vista of the beach behind you but they go out on the beach so some beautiful landscapes I gotta say there was something a little off with the pacing of the first episode that concerned me the the atmosphere just wasn't very fun now we're dealing with serious subjects here but you know a joke would land and there are plenty of laugh out loud jokes but a joke would land and it would catch me by surprise because we hadn't really had that fun environment atmosphere previously and it just seemed like things would drag just a couple moments too long so uh, hopefully I'm contributing that to just the struggles of a pilot episode which is why I've decided going forward when I review things I'm going to review the first two episodes because there's so much writing on a pilot they have to introduce all the characters set up the story for potentially the entire season that there's so much pressure on that that you don't really get an understanding of what an actual episode will look like 90% of the time so by also reviewing the second episode I hope to get a better picture of what the show is which will help me recommend it or not recommend it to you and I was a little bit concerned when the second episode opened with a very odd couple Neil Simon Oscar and Felix type scene between Grace and Frankie and I was worried I was like no don't don't do that be be better than that you know I love Neil Simon but I want this show to trail uh, to, to blaze new trails and not rely on those old two people bickering, one annoying the other one type comedy tropes. It may show up uh, every once in a while because these are two women who were rivals and don't necessarily get along with each other but depend on each other to help them cope 
through this equally difficult situation for both of them. All in all, I think this is a great start for the series and I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of the episodes and I recommend that you do the same and see if you like it. If you do see it, let me know. Do you think this is a comedy with just heavy themes or is this a drama with some jokes sprinkled in or is it that age-old television catch-all of a dramedy? Because the, there's laugh out loud moments and then some heartbreaking, heartbreaking stuff as well. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this review, and I look forward to seeing you next time on another episode of Stream On.